<clears throat> Check out this. My son showed me this. The first thing to do is one, two, three. Do you know what one, two, three is? One, no. All right, check this shit out. This is wicked cool. He did it from his class and the fucking uh, union taught him this. One means first gear. Two, two fingers, pull out the thing for two fingers. Three, sounds like key. One, two, three. Then you go out, three points of exiting. Mm -hmm. I already did the um, chalks are already back mm -hmm. there, so I'm gonna go through that part. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three. Now I'm gonna safe start the engine. Parking brake is on, vehicle in neutral. It was supposed to be in first, of in course. First, yeah. yeah, but I don't have a stick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start the engine, build the air above 120, full pressure. That was at the part where I fucking dropped all the air at like step mm -hmm. five before the time you came in, but I'll start it again, of course, show you. I had to check with the cheat sheet a couple times already, you know. I got a week left, um, not this weekend, but next weekend, Saturday's my last class, and Sunday I have to be tested, so I gotta fucking oh, and, ram this uh, shit in. So you're gonna be... Um, tested maybe the 25th. Ooh. 24th is my last school day. This weekend's my last two days of the weekend. I go Saturday, Sunday, and then Saturday, and I could be tested right after. Yeah, so. I'm gonna go to Jai on the... Um, they just told, text me what the fuck the shit was. I had my permit and I told I had it and my permit expired. Oh, you gonna go get a permit again? I'm gonna go today, but I'm ready. Mm -hmm. That's cool. <laughs> Needle is stopped, 128. I'm at full pressure. Now going to fan down to 100 PSI <clears throat> to check the cut in. I'm at 100. And my needle is rising. Cut in works. I'm now gonna accelerate to 1500 RPM to bring the needle up above 120 so I can check my cutout. Cutout works. Now I'm going to put the vehicle neutral, set brake, shut off the, the engine, safe start. <clears throat> now I'm going to fan down. Um, below 60, my low air warning alarm must come on. I don't know, I think I skipped some shit. What the fuck? Did I? I'm going to say stop, fuck. All right, did all that. Set brake. No, but did that. I'm going to release my brake. Oh, shit, that's right. Fuck. I'm going to release my brake. At the initial loss of 5 to 15 pounds, I can't lose any more than 2 pounds a minute. <clears throat> My initial loss, 10 pounds. Timing now. <clears throat> I'm not gonna time the whole thing because we know it's gonna stay. It's been a minute, I haven't lost any air. I'm gonna apply 90 pounds of pressure to the brake. After the initial loss of five to 15 pounds, I can't lose any more than three pounds a minute. My initial loss, 10 pounds. Timing now. Say it's been a minute. It's been a minute, I haven't lost any air. I'm now gonna fan the brakes down before the needle drops below 60, my low air warning alarm must come on. It did. I'm going to continue fanning down between 45 and 20, my spring brake must apply. I'll know this because the yellow button will pop out. It did. <clears throat> now going to safe start the engine. Truck is in park, neutral, starting the engine. Now gonna build air. 
revving the engine at 1500 RPM, above 60, my low way of warning alarm must shut off. Then I'm going to continue building the air to 85 PSI. Between 85 and 100, it should must take less than 45 seconds. Above 60, my low air warning alarm is shut off. I'm now going to continue right around the F and that needle goes to the F. I'm at 85 PSI timing now. This I will time because it's usually like under 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. Took 17 seconds. I'm at 100. I'm going to accelerate to 1500 RPM to um, bring my tank up above 120 to full. <laughs> Needle is stopped, 128. The tank is full. Now I'm going to sh shut my engine off, put the vehicle in first, set my brake. Now that was 123, put it in first, two fingers to pull out, and three grab the key. Good. I'm now going to retrieve my chocks. I'm going to safe start the engine, <clears throat> put it in neutral, brake is on, start after, after the warning lights go off, I'm going to safe start, put it in neutral, <clears throat> after the warning lights go off, I'm going to put it, <clears throat> I'm going to start the engine, I'm going to put it in first gear until the, it's, to check the arm, um, parking brake, spring brake. Vehicle did not move. Parking brake, spring brake works. Now I'm going to release the parking brake, put it in first, drive five miles an hour to check the service brake. Service brake worked. There was no unusual sound or smell. The truck did not pull to the left or right. No chatter in the wheel. That completes my air brake test. I'm now going to put it in first. I'm now going to set the brake. Put it in first and shut the vehicle off. Put my key in my pocket. Reset my chocks. After I reset the chocks, we'll go through all that, blah, 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 come back in. <clears throat> now I'm going to do my in-cab inspection. I have a fire extinguisher secure, properly mounted, within reach, fully charged. I have a seat belt. Works properly. I have one for my passenger as well. I have... Red reflective triangles, I have three. <clears throat> I have two chalk blocks. They're at the back of the truck. I have spare fuses and bulbs. I'm now going to safe start the vehicle. <clears throat> All my warning lights have turned off. I'm now going to start the vehicle. Put it first to put it on neutral. I'm going to start the vehicle. 
my oil pressure between 20 and 40, water pressure between 140 and 180. I have enough fuel and death fluid for the day. My air pressure is at 126. My accelerator works properly. My brake I cannot check, but we already checked it during the air brake test. I have a 20 inch steering wheel with less than two inches of play. City horn works, air horn works, high beam works. Windshield clear of all obstructions, no cracks, not broken. My, my mirrors, no crack, no broken, adjusted for me. My heater works. My rail, my uh, defroster works. That is my parking brake. My left blinker identicator, what is it? My right, my left blinker works. My right blinker works. My four-way flasher identicator works properly. I have a six-speed manual transmission, goes in and out of gear properly. <clears throat> no unusual, um, my clutch works properly. My accelerator works properly, doesn't stick. I'll check my speedometer and odometer as I'm on the road. My tactometer works, I'm supposed to say with that. My tactometer works properly, my speedometer and odometer, I'll check while we're on the road. That completes my in cab inspection. Believe. I'm going to set my brake, put the vehicle first, shut off the engine so we can do the out cab. Well, let's go out and we'll do it together outside. We'll check it out. Where'd you go, Eddie? <laughs> you went through the back. I guess I know a couple of them, like, um, I mean, there's all different parts you're gonna know the numbers and shit on them. Um, my radiator's secure, not leaking. This is where I check my oil, this is where I fill my oil. My power steering reservoir, secure. This is where I check it, this is where I fill it. All the hoses, not no abrasions, bubbles or cuts. And then I have to friggin', um, I have to memorize a lot more of it. Frame is straight, not cracked or weld. The compressor is at the rear of the engine. On the driver's side, no abrasions, bubbles or cuts. The compressor is air driven. Steering shaft is secure and nothing wrapped around it. No excessive play to the U joint. Steering box, right there. Steering box secure, not leaking. Hoses are attached and not leaking. No abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. Pitman arm, drag link, upper control arm. Steering knuckle, lower control arm, and tie rod are all secure with no broken or missing parts. Shock absorber, I mean, I know where the shit is, you just gotta fucking memorize it. Shock absorber is secure, not leaking. Spring mount is secure, not leaking. Um, spring mount is secure, spring shackles are secure, no missing or broken parts. Leaf spring are aligned with no cracks, broken or missing leaves and are attached to the axle with, with two U-bolts. The axle is straight with no cracks or welds. And point inside. All you have to do is like stand over here because it will be straight, he told us. So I just point inside there and I go, brake lines are secure, not leaking, no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. Brake chamber is secure with no leaks or broken parts. Slack adjuster and push rod have no broken or missing parts and there is at least one inch play. Brake liners at at least one quarter inch thick with no cracks, drums have no cracks or welds and there is no oil or grease um, contamination. Rims have no cracks or welds inside out. Lug nuts, he wants us to go down and like grab fucking all lug nuts. Lug nuts are secure with no rust or shiny metal. Hub seal, you gotta remember half the stuff on here. Hub seal is secure with no leaking and filled to the proper level. Valve stem is, is, um, is centered with a metal cap. That's where it would be if I had a metal cap. <laughs> um, tires inflated to 95 PSI. Ask the trooper if he wants me to check it. They never have you check it, he said. There is nothing struck into the tread. The tread is separated and no abrasions, bubbles, or cuts on the sidewall. We're going to go to the right side. Not 
leaking. This is where I check it. This is where I fill it. Upper um, radiator hose is clamped, not leaking, has no sponge feel. Then they just squeeze it. Alternator belt. Alternator is belt driven and secure. Wires are attached and not worn, cut, or frayed. Belt is not worn, cut, or frayed and is at the proper tension. Water pump is belt driven, secure, and not leaking. When she, um, washer fluid reservoir is secure, contains enough washer fluid for the day. This is my um, air dryer and governor are secure. Lines are attached and not leaking. Frame is straight with no cracks or welds. Tie rod and lower control arm attached with no broken or missing parts. I'm going to go to the front of the truck. I go to the front. Okay, yo lo, yo lo hice temprano. Okay, we're gonna do front of the truck wrap right now. The truck is not leaning to the left or right. There are no obstructions around the truck. All my lights are proper color, clean, not cracked or broken. I have two ID lights. I mean, I have two box lights, two cab lights, three ID lights identifying that the truck is over 80 inches wide. I got that part. Massachusetts Valens inspection sticker. My bumper, hood, and plate are all secure. I have no leaks underneath the truck. Fender mirror is secure. Door mirror is secure. Door latch secure. Demonstrate. Uh, wrap handle is secure. Steps are secure. Battery box is secure. Maintenance free. I check for corrosion um, regularly. Air tank is secure. Oh, air tank right back in. Air tank is secure. We mounted. Lines are attached and not leaking. No abrasions, bubbles, cuts. The tank is drained at the end of each day. Depth fluid is securely mounted. Cap is secure. The tank is not leaking. Fuel tank securely mounted and not leaking. It has two metal straps with rubber insulators. Cap is secure with a metal chain and rubber gasket. Transmission is secure. Not leaking. Has Drive shaft is straight, nothing wrapped around it. Differential is secure and not leaking. Frame is straight, not cracked or weld, no damage to the cross member or truck floor. In front of the, oh, they put these in different orders. In front of the box has no damage and the truck height is clearly marked. The side of the truck has no damage and is properly marked with the name of the company. Lights and reflectors are properly Color, no cracks, dirt, broken, and are working. Center marker indicates the truck is 30 feet longer. Spring brakes are secure with no missing or broken parts. Leaf spring is aligned with no cracks or broken missing leaves and are attached to the axle with two U-bolts. Axle is straight, no cracks so, um, or uh, cracked or weld. Bearing plate is secure with no damage. Shock absorber is secure and not leaking. Airbag and the air mount are secure and not leaking. Get yeah, right underneath it. Brake line is secure and not leaking. No abrasions, bubbles, or cuts. Brake chamber is secure, not leaking, and not broken parts. Slack adjuster is in push rod. No missing or broken parts. Cannot check because the brakes spring brake is, is on. Brake liner at least one quarter inch thick with no cracks. Drums have no cracks or welds and there's no oil or grease contamination. No damage to the rims inside and out. These are bud rims with no space in between them. Lug nuts are secure with no rust trail or shiny metal. Axle seal, not leaking. I have two valves stamped both centered with metal caps. 
tie is a matching set with minimum 232 tread depth. There is nothing stuck into the tread, tire, uh, not rubbing together, and nothing struck between them. Sidewall has no abrasion bubbles or cuts, no tread separation. Tires are inflated to 95 PSI. Ask the trooper if he wants me to check. Mud flap is secure, not leaking, not touching the ground. Oh, shit. Mud flap is secured, not touching the ground or tire. Lights are reflected, are properly colored, not cracked, dirty, broken, or in working. I have two box lights and three ID lights. ID lights indicating that the truck is over 80 inches wide, and the flash of the tail light. Plane is secure. Plane is secure. With a balance checker, plane lights work. Door is secure. You're not damaged. Latch and grab handle are secure not damaged. The ICC bag. Not damaged, or if the other truck might have uh, lift gate secure and not and it's in raised position, securely with a lock and in raised position. My passenger side is the same as driver side, plus a few items. Exhaust pipe are secure, no holes, and there is nothing leaning up against them. Fuel tank. It's secure, it's securely mounted, and not leaking. It has two metal straps, rubber insulator. Sorry, you can talk. You out of here, you gonna go? It's all good. I believe that completes my inspection.